New York City is a tourist town, so the Occupy Wall Street protest has started to draw tourists, mostly of the accidental variety. We're, we're here on business. We came down to visit Ground Zero, and, you know, we're making our way this way and just... Here we are. But the month-old encampment is also getting a growing number of more deliberate visitors. Welcome to Occupy Wall Street, the field trip. And in order to get a first-hand viewing and account of what a movement looks like, we thought we'd come see a movement in action. A class from the New School University had convened on the park steps, and Ben Jabal's eighth graders were on their third visit to the protest. They're doing interviews with um, protesters, asking them. They generated their own questions. They want to find out how long are you going to stay here? Do you think this is really going to work? Why aren't you using violence? Sort of a lot of questions that they have come up with after studying the other movements. Occupy Wall Street isn't exactly what the students had come to understand from studying protest in school. Before I came here, I thought, well, okay, this is, this is going to be like everyone's going to be protesting and just out here. Um, but I didn't really think that they were going to be like surrounded by, like, I didn't think they were really going to have like plates and tents and a lot a lot of the things like for a house and the movement could end up picking up some young recruits can we go back and protest so you can protest that we can't do it during school time but if you want to come down here you get parents permission and come down here and protest that's you know that's your right and your responsibility as a citizen in new york warren levinson associated press